Hello, Patty Panthers. My name is Kessie. Welcome to the Patty Morning Show. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. And to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individually, with liberty and justice for all. Please sit. You may be seated. Today's encore schedule. I hope you have a great day. Bye. What's up, boys and girls? Good morning. I think it's Friday. I hope it's Friday, because if it's Friday, that means you're back in school and this snow thing was just a big uh, flop, right? But whenever you are watching this, you got the Luch and you got Teddy Ball Game here to wish you a great day and to get your day started off with some news from the world of sports. Teddy Ball Game, take it away. Hey, we got some basketball news. Again, that's kind of our big sport right now is basketball. The Wizards have won two games in a row. They Whoa, how Boston many? Two games in a row. They defeated the Boston Celtics 104 to 91 and the Houston Rockets 131 to 119. Mm. Bradley Beal has been a beast this year for the Wizards. Again, he scored 72 points combined in those two wins. So wow. around 36 points a game, which is really good for the NBA. Um, mm. And then in the Western Conference, we got the Los Angeles Lakers. They beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. 112-104, LeBron James scored 30 points, grabbed 13 rebounds, had seven assists, almost LeBron got James. that triple-double. So what do you I'm think i write that? down that name so I can check him out. LeBron James, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. I got it. Yeah. You know he has his own school, huh? Yeah, I did hear that. Cleveland. Yeah. I Very think we cool. Should start, we should start the school of Deluge. What do you think? Uh, well, I think this is it, right? <laughs> this is it, Patty. Yeah, we're the place you want to be right here. Um, in college basketball, we got the Virginia Cavaliers lost to Florida State Seminoles 81-60. to And Virginia Tech Hokies took the win in overtime over the Miami Hurricanes 80-76. to Kind of a crazy game. Caught the tail end of that Miami um, Hokies game. The, um, the player for the Hokies hit a three-pointer to get it to go into overtime. Mm -hmm. And the Hokies prevailed in overtime. So just, again, never giving up all the way to that last buzzer. And you know what we call that? We call that clutch, Teddy Ball Game. Clutch, absolutely. We call that clutch. When you come up big time, when the odds are against you, or in that, that moment where there's that much pressure, if you're the one to step up, we always say puff up your chest and take on a challenge. And if you come through, that's being clutch. So that works here, too. And in the NHL, the Washington Capitals were victorious over their arch rivals, Pittsburgh Penguins, 3-1. to one. Capitals had lost four games in a row to the Penguins, but were able to snap that losing streak by holding the Penguins to just one goal. Nice job, Caps. Yeah, so again, you know, not giving up, even though you've had some failures there. Um, keep rolling, and, and that finally come through with that win. Um, right. And baseball is right around the corner, Deluch. We got pitchers and catchers starting to report to camp. And not wait for spring and baseball to start. What do you think, right. Deluch? Yeah, oh, it's awesome. Love it. Although, isn't it snowing all over the south right now? It uh, might kind of, kind of crazy right now, yeah. It might be snowed out for a little bit, but no, it's awesome. And Teddy Ball Game, in the spirit of Black History Month, I want to mention and bring up a – a uh, famous baseball player by the name of Henry Hank Aaron. Hank was his nickname. And boys and girls, Henry Aaron started in 1954. This was at the height of racial tension in our country. And he came in as, you know, like we talked about before, the amount of bravery that it takes and confidence because he was heckled. Um, I mean, he had, he had hate crimes, you know, performed against him. But despite all that, Teddy Ball game, first of all, he played for 22 years. Wow. That is a long time, boys and girls, to play professional sport. And then to do that admits all those challenges. And while people are heckling him and telling him he stinks and he doesn't deserve to play baseball and shouldn't be doing it. And he forgot all about that and did his job. Teddy Ball game, do you know that Hank Aaron is number two? That has the second most home runs in baseball history. 
And some would argue. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say he, he's number one, but we won't go there. Yeah, we won't go there. That's, that's a topic for a different show. <laughs> yeah. Kenny Boggan, did you know that he is indeed number one in RBIs, runs batted in? Wow. He is number three all time in hits. And he is number four all time in runs scored. That is really impressive, boys and girls. That means not only did he break, help break the color barrier in baseball, have the, have the confidence to stick with baseball amidst all that, all those challenges for 22 years, but he was one of, if not the best baseball player to ever play. Pretty awesome. Henry Hank Aaron, check out a book, read more about him, man. It's awesome. It gets me psyched for baseball. Absolutely. So that's all I got for today. Deluge. All right, boys and girls. Well, Hey, have a great day out there. Somebody come up clutch. What do you think? Come up clutch today. Do something clutch in your classroom. Come up big, pull somebody up, do whatever it takes. We got you because together we are Patty Strong. Patty Strong.